Hi guys, Paul from PA Brew News. Got another PA Brew right here. This is Salkany Creek from Kutztown, Pennsylvania. And this is their Stonefly India Pale Ale. There we go. Awesome. Okay, let's see. I don't think they put ABVs on. Oh, they did. <sighs> ABVs. 6.8% alcohol by volume. Ingredients are malted barley, hops, pure water, and yeast. The purest of water. Okay, let's see. Um, do -do 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 -do. Yeah, yep. Cuts down Brewing Company. Or, no, Cuts down. Uh, Kazakani Creek Brewing Company, Cuts down Pennsylvania. I haven't made it to Cuts down. That's just one of the places I haven't been yet. Definitely gotta go check it out. As well as Lit It. Because they got the. Is it the Bullhead Tavern? Something like that. Bullhead Tavern. Pretty cool stuff, I've heard. Anyway. Close, maybe. Close in that vicinity. Area of Pennsylvania. The Amish country. Near there. <laughs> what isn't the Amish country in Pennsylvania? I don't know. Anyway. I digress. Maybe I shouldn't have poured it so full. I'm going to get my nose in there a little bit more. But I think... Um, Think, Saucony Creek's brews are not, uh, part, not they're not pasteurized and they're not filtered. But honestly, this just has a beautiful, almost hop haze. Basically, I would just have to assume it's a hop haze. Streaming carbonation in the middle, nice mild carbonation, really pretty ale. Just ruby, not ruby, golden, golden straw colors coming through there. A little bit of orange. Nice, slightly off white head. Nice tight bubbles going on there. Really, really classy looking stuff. <coughs> Let's get some aromas. Mm. Sweet, sweet caramel and pine and, um, and uh, citrus notes. Grapefruit. A little earthy and peppery note. Oh, there is some pine in there mixed in there. That's nice. Just a little bit of lemon, a little grapefruit. I am getting a sweet caramel coming through from the malt. Let's get into this one. Cheers, this smells good. Mm. There's a subtle, soft dankness in there from those piney hops. Wow. Wow, nice bitterness too. Boy, that's actually still, it's actually biting on, clinging, lingering. Good bitterness. Nice medium body to this. Oh, hell yeah. Soft, there's actually more just soft grapefruit. Soft hints of that. Definitely got an earthy pepperiness. Soft dankness. Wow. Let's see what the bottom of this bottle has to, has to offer. If they are truly non-pasteurized not, and non-filtered. There we go. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Cleaning out a furnace today. A little coffee. Alright, can take it up. Beautiful. Still beautiful. Nice, just haze. Wow. Beautiful, tight head. Man, that is nice. A creamy head. Let's see if I can drink through it without making a mess. Mm. Man. Tell you what. That's a smooth, soft caramel. Well, it's playing on a couple different things. Very, very um, nice, even spectrum. Bitterness. The beautiful bitterness. The flavors I'm getting are just soft pines. Soft, subtle dankness, and then you're getting a little bit of hints of lemon and grapefruit. Kind of a bitey, peppery note kind of lingers on through there. It's attaching itself to that bitterness, working itself away. Mm. The only thing I could say is the bitterness, it's not super piney, 
so it's a little peppery but because of that it doesn't have a very distinctive kind of flavor that goes along with it it, it can be denoted as denoted as a little bit of that kind of um, uh, like a Tylenol or like pill bitterness that some people refer to it as because it's very it's not very undescript bitterness it just that kind of clinging gnawing bitterness so it's not something super juicy or super piney or anything like that but it's not bad and it is playful uh -huh. yeah 6.8 easy to drink really good stuff nice mouthfeel too right on that perfect medium mouthfeel for an IPA that I like anyway so bam 9 out of 10 Stonefly Stonefly India Pale Ale from Saucony Creek boom, boom. good stuff even Paul from PA Brew News cheers